Welcome to this installment of the Akiro EMR instructional videos. This video was developed by the WRHA CSIS team in coordination with EMR users. This video is meant as reference material regarding the functionality of the EMR. Examples provided during demonstration cover various workflows and should not replace any on-the-job instruction provided by on-site supervisors, managers, or directors. Just overview of the Akiro EMR, which includes all sections within Akiro, Akiro target, configuration action bar. This instance of Akiro is currently active in over 50 sites with over 2,000 users and contains and shares information of over 250,000 patients. Each time a patient file is accessed, an audit log indicating the user is recorded. Privacy and protecting patient information is the responsibility of each user. To lock your screen when not in use, press Alt and F12 keys. This is referred to as the fuzzy lock screen. Please note this fuzzy lock screen code can be personalized for added protection and will be reviewed within the Akiro target section of this video. It is recommended that you lock your screen and select switch user each time you leave your computer. This ensures another user will be prompted to sign in with their own credentials if signing into your workstation. Akira will automatically log users out when inactive for 30 minutes. Movement throughout Akira is done by clicking or selecting the different sections. There are no back arrows within Akira. Be cautious of the need to update or save patient information prior to moving into another section of the EMR. Let's begin by reviewing the sections within Akiro. I have logged into Akiro and selected the home section from the top of the left side panel. The home section is Akiro's internal communication section similar to Outlook. Users may send and receive messages with other users. Based on roles, users can view mail, tasks, documents, and labs within this section. Moving down to the scheduler section from the left side panel, users will manage patient appointments within the calendars in this section. Users can schedule, edit, and delete appointments, view conflicts, find next available appointments, and create schedule templates. This section can be set up to view single or multiple providers. Returning to the left side panel, let's review the traffic manager section. Not all sites use this tool within the EMR, so please make sure to check with your site lead to see if this tool is part of your regular workflow. Traffic manager is a visual tool to track patient flow through your sites. This screen is divided into three sections. The top section displays the patient currently selected. The middle section displays the patients that are in the waiting room and the bottom section displays the treatment rooms and which provider is caring for the patient. Our next section for review is the patient section from the left side panel. This is where users access all of the patient registration information. Users can add, edit, and delete patient records within the section. Information entered within the section is used to populate certain fields relevant to prescriptions, billing, documents, and scheduling. The information within this section must match a patient's Manitoba Health Card information. This section allows for users to add additional patient information not contained on the Manitoba Health Card, such as a preferred alias or alternative address. You will note the tabs in the lower portion of the screen include other. This tab manages the default insurer and patient messages. Relationships. Patient relations are managed within this section, including marital status and patient contacts. Notes. This connects to the home section. Notes may be attached to a patient as part of their record or to serve as communication among users concerning the patient. Status history. This section provides details on the patient's past and current status. Note the different colors of the status determines the color of the patient tagline. The patient tagline is referring to the top of the Akiro screen where a loaded patient's information is displayed. 
Green means active, red means inactive, and yellow-brown means patient is deceased. Private billing. This is where third-party billing is stored. This is a role-specific task. Insurer rules, not accessed. Providers. This is where users can see which care teams and or providers the patient has been added to or has seen. This section also keeps track of any referral letters that have been sent. Provider enrollment history, not accessed. We will now move on to the document section on the left side panel. This section is used to import electronic documents into a curo and associates them with the patient's EMR. Documents include faxes and scanned in items. These items can be viewed, sent to providers for review, and attached to a patient's chart from this section. Revisiting the left side panel again with a very brief overview of the claims section. This section contains all the claims and billing invoices sites have for their patients. This function within a curo is specific to the billing clerk role and requires additional training. The final section within the left side panel is the waitlist section. Currently, this section is not being used by any of the sites. Midwifery does, however, use this section to manage patients waiting for a midwife. Icons on the left panel below the sections serve as a quick view for items in the queue from the home section. This includes mail, tasks, faxes, and documents. The number beside each column notes the number of new items within each queue. The Acuro target is found on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. A significant number of user preferences specific to defaults, display, login, etc. can be set through this target. If you type user in the search field and select user preferences, this will guide you to the screen that allows for user preferences to be changed. Any changes within this screen will only be applicable to your user login. I will demonstrate how a user can change the fuzzy lock screen code through the Akiro target. As demonstrated earlier, select the Akiro target, type user into the search box, select user preferences, select the login section on the left side panel. The small section in the middle of the screen allows for the user to set their personalized fuzzy lock screen code. This code will only be applicable to your user login. Use your cursor to select this box, press down the keys you wish to use to set your code. Please note that two of the following keys must be included in your new lock code, Control, Alt, or Shift, and one additional key. For this example, I will use Alt, Shift, and Backspace you will see the code appear in the box. Once you are satisfied with your code, select Apply and OK. Please note, if you do not remember your lock code, you will be forced to log off Akiro and log in again. Configure action bar is located at the bottom of your screen. This action bar can be customized through the Akiro target and can be set with any default or customized action items of your choice. These icons are intended as quick access tools for users to access frequently used tools within the EMR. For example, an encounter note can be set up as a customized action item. I hope you have found this overview of Akira helpful. For any questions or clarifications, please contact csis underscore support at wrha.mb.ca.